And the next bag of dolls is this one, and it was four ninety eight. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get it open. I'm getting stabbed by staples. Okay. So the first doll in here is another Barbie fashionista. This one looks like her hair has been cut, but I can even it out to make it look cute. It also looks like it's been attempted to be dyed, but I'll be able to clean that up. She is wearing her dress, however, which is really cute. Pastel tie-dye. Um, her face is just a little bit dirty. It's not really that bad. She'll be able to be fixed. And the next doll, okay, this is a doll that I've seen many, many times and I've always really, really liked. This is one of these slim box, like, Christmas dolls. And I've seen her many, many times, and I really did like her a lot. And I think she's very, very pretty. I don't exactly remember which one she is, but she is wearing her outfit. I know that for sure. Um, I just think she's really, really gorgeous. I loved her green earrings, and I liked her face and her red lips and her Christmas-themed outfit. I always just really liked her, and as soon as I saw the outfit and the white legs, I really got excited, and I knew that I was definitely going to want to buy the bag. Um, her hair is a little bit tangled, but it's not too bad. Um, her dress, well, it's not a dress. Her sweater does need to be washed because it's a little bit dirty, but nothing too bad. Oh, and I do notice some slight staining on her legs, but it should be able to be removed with some benzoyl peroxide. And the next bag, I'm very, very excited about one of the dolls in this bag. It was $3.98. I'm super excited. Oop, dropped something again. Like I said, I'm a little tired. Um, so the doll that I'm really, really excited about is... Venus McFly trap. She even has her headpiece and she's wearing her dress and her necklace, which is right here. And she has her bracelet on and her other bracelet on. And she's got both of her limbs and she's very, very, very beautiful. I love it. I love her a lot. She is definitely the prettiest Venus that I have. I think she's gorgeous. I love that the underside of her ponytail has been flopped. She's just stunning, and I'm super, super glad. I actually saw her at the very last minute. I almost didn't see her. She's just really, really beautiful. Her face is dirty, and she's missing her earrings, but I am not mad at all. She's super, super pretty. I'm really excited to find her. And the other doll in the bag, I'm not super interested. It is another Disney, not Disney, sorry, um, My Little Pony Equestria Girl. So I'm trying to get her hair away from her face so you can really see what she looks like. Yeah, I'm not going to keep her. I'm probably going to give her to my cousin as well. Um, she's not in as great condition. She's missing her feet and her skirt and whatever else she comes with. Um, but she seems to be the same character as the other one. She's not in as great a shape, but maybe my cousin will want her. And the next bag was four ninety eight. dollars you guys can see. And trying to open it. Okay. And it has inside first edition Blondie Locks. She has her bracelet and her ring and her earrings. She's just missing her tights and her shoes and her headband. But besides that, she's in pretty good shape. I do already own one, but I don't ever find Monster, I mean, Ever After High dolls, especially like older ones like this so I snatched her up she's very beautiful she does have her limbs like I said and also we have Disney Descendants Evie now I have found quite a few of these dolls but this one is actually in the best shape out of all the ones I found um, so I'm probably gonna keep this one because it's gonna be a pain in the butt with all those other dolls hair just what the type of hair it is it's really hard to manage and get to be smooth so, she does have all of her limbs and everything. Her face is just a little dirty. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited that I find her. I don't have a lot of Disney Descendants dolls, but I do like the ones that I found a lot. Ugh, sorry. Next bag was $5.98, which is a little pricey, but, hey, YOLO. I can't believe I said that. That makes me sound really, really cringy. Sorry, I apologize. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. The first doll inside is a Disney Store Cinderella. She's very pretty. You can see. She's in pretty good shape. She's not too dirty. Her hair isn't that bad. Um, she doesn't have her outfit, but it's not that really big of a deal. I'm not sure if I have this particular one or not. I'll have to look at mine and find out. But the main reason that I got this doll is for this very, very beautiful Barbie fashionista. I don't find very many of these that I don't already have, and this one is just really, really beautiful. Um, someone put a rubber band around her neck to be like a choker, but it's not actually 
like hers. Um, yeah, she's super beautiful. She's got purple makeup. Her hair is in pretty good shape. It's just a little bit dry. It just needs to be conditioned. Um, yeah, she's one of the fully articulated Barbie fashionistas from like 2015-ish, maybe 2014. She's really, really pretty. Um, I like her a lot. Her face isn't even really that dirty. We are coming close to the end now. I'm going to open up this bag. It was $4.98. We are in the long stretch. Home stretch, sorry. And the first doll inside is Gil Weber. I think he was donated by the same person who donated the Claude in part one because he has a 49 written on his back. Um, he has... He does, is missing his hands, but he does have his fins and his pants, so that's good. I'm not really that upset about it. I do only have one gill as well, actually. I don't have very many gills. Um, this one is missing some stuff, but I'm really not that bothered by it. I'm just really excited to find him. I do not have a lot of Monster High dolls that are guys, like I said. So, yeah, I'm really excited about him. His face does have some marks on it, like on his lip and stuff, but he should be able to be good. The next doll that I found, I'm really excited, is a DC Superhero Girls doll, but it is a character that I do not know. She's one of the, like, the snow ones or whatever, and I don't think this is her dress. It looks like it doesn't fit her very well, but I don't have this particular character, and she has all of her limbs, so I'm really excited. Her torso is really loose, so it keeps, like, bobbing back and forth, but she's in really nice shape. She does have a stain on her temple and on her, like, beauty mark on her upper lip, but it should be able to be removed, hopefully. I'll do my very best to do that. Um, but besides that, she's in good shape. Her hair is still in its, like, factory hairstyle or whatever. Next dolls are in a bag for $6.98. We're almost there, y'all. Almost there. It has two Barbies in it. The first one is a made-to-move Barbie wearing a very cute swimsuit. This is like the soccer player one, and I do not have her. She is one of the completely full made-to-move, so she's got articulation in the ankle, in the knee, in the thigh, in the torso, in the hip, in the upper arm, in the shoulder, in the elbow, and in the wrist. And also in the neck. So that's really exciting. And she is really pretty. As you guys can see, she still has her factory hairstyle in. And sorry about the wardrobe malfunction, but she is also wearing this very cute swimsuit. And the other doll in the bag, this is a, another Barbie fashionista. I think this is the one that comes in the cactus dress. She's super pretty. She's got curly hair. She's really tan. Um, I think... I'm not sure if she's the cactus one. I actually think that she's not upon further inspection because she is not a tall Barbie. She's just an original. Um, and she's got like that like cock tip style or whatever. But I still think she's really, really pretty. Her curls aren't really that bad. She just needs to be cleaned. Her face isn't even all that dirty either. So that's pretty cool. Down to the final four, four or five bags, y'all. We have this bag, which was $3.98. And I bought it specifically for one doll inside. I was just so taken with her face. I thought that she was very, very gorgeous. I'm gonna, the other doll in the bag was just a Hasbro Elena of Avalor. Find a lot of those. But I just thought that her face was really, really gorgeous. If you guys can see it, she's got green eyes and red lips and blonde hair. She's just really, really beautiful. She is definitely a Barbie fashionista. I'm just not sure which one she is, but she is stunning and she's in pretty good shape. She's got some stuff going on, like on her butt um, and on her leg, but it's really not that big a deal. <gasps> hello, kitty. Oh, hello. Welcome. Say hello to everybody. Say hello. Hi, kitten. What a good girl. Hello, dear. Oh, oh yes. Hi. Hi, dear. Hi. Hello. Yes, hello. Oh, it's so good to see you. So we have a guest in our video. Hello. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Oh, are you going to be our surprise guest in our video? Oh, yes. Hi. Why don't you sit down so that I can finish the video? Hmm? You sit down. You sit. No? Okay. 
This could take a while, people. Hold that thought. Oh, are you sitting? No? Okay. Hmm. Hi, honey. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Down. Oh, careful, don't you fall. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep moving on, even though we have kitten here. So here is the next bag. Hi, honey. Um, it looks yellow, but it's actually, and now it looks orange. Um, it's orange, and it was for $5.98. And inside, I mainly bought it for one of the dolls. I just thought that her face was really pretty. Hello. Hello. Oh, do you want me to pet you every second? I'm sorry. Okay. So, oh, things are falling. But anyway, we have this um, Disney Store Jasmine. I have been buying a lot of these and her hair is kind of past the point of no return. So, um, I'll probably use her as a body donor or I'll keep her until I have the chance to flat iron her or reroute her. Um, but the main reason I got it was for, <clears throat> hello, mm -hmm. thank you for kisses, was for this doll. I just found her face very, very beautiful. She comes with these beautiful little ballet shoes. They're molded on. Um, I think she's some sort of Princess Barbie. She's got these really cute bangs. Um, yeah, she's really, really pretty. Her hair is obviously supposed to be in a ponytail. Um, the rubber band has fallen, but it's not that big of a deal. Oh, honey, you can't eat it. No, no. No, no. No, no eating. Sorry. Um, yeah, she's really pretty. She's got really pretty pale, like, light blue slash gray eyes. I'm really excited that I found her. I don't know who she is. Like I said in part one, if you guys have any idea who these dolls are that I don't know, feel free to put them in the comments below. Like I always say, I really do appreciate you guys' comments. We're down to the last three bags. Oh yeah, it's so exciting. I found this bag for $4.98. Yes, I know. I know. I'm trying to go quickly so that I can pet you all night. All night. Yeah, all night. Okay, so yeah, the bag fell, but we have this very beautiful Barbie fashionista. She is not wearing her actual dress, but the dress itself is really pretty. It's pink and shiny, and it has a slit in it. Um, she definitely belongs to the same owners as the Monster High Boys because it has number 23 written on it. Um, yeah, she's in really good shape. She still has her factory hairstyle. Um, yeah, she's really cool. I've been finding a lot of fashionistas lately. And the doll in the bag that I'm the most excited about, which is definitely one of my favorite finds. This is another Barbie Look City Shine doll. I do have, I did actually find one at this very same thrift store from the same line. Um, she is wearing her dress. She does have stains on her legs, but I'll be able to remove them. She's missing her earrings, but she's in really good shape besides that. Her hair is absolutely crazy, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I'll be able to fix her. She's got a gorgeous face with these fake eyelashes. She's super pretty. Hi, honey. Are you just going to stay here all night? All night. All night. All night. Yes, okay. And you're almost done. I have two more bags to show them. Okay. So, for $5.98, we have two boy dolls. Two of them. My cat is very interested in what's going on, obviously. The main reason I bought it is for this Barbie fashionista boy. He's very handsome. He's the one with the cornrows. He has his actual outfit on. He's wearing his white shirt with the tie and the gray pants and the white shoes. And he's got a very handsome face. And I didn't really buy it for this other doll. I'm probably going to give it to my brother because he collects dolls like this. It kind of looks like a G.I. Joe, but I know it's not. Um, he's got, like, dog tags on. He's got, like, all these pants and everything going on. He's cool, just not for me. And my favorite find of the day. Are you going to get down? Are you going to get down? Your tail's kind of in my face. Kind of in my... Oh, no. Okay. Hi, honey. What is it? Thank you for kisses. Thank you. Okay. So, in this bag contains my favorite find of the day. And I'm going to... Try and open it up. Goodbye, cat. Are you leaving? Okay. Now I can show you my favorite find of the day. <gasps> it's Nathan. It's Nathan. It's Nathan. It's Nathan. Oh my gosh, guys. It is Monster High Nathan from Freaky Fusion. 
I'm not sure if his hair has been cut or anything, but I'm just so excited. I don't care. There's his little horn. There's his ears. He's ridiculously handsome. I love him so much. There's his face. Oh, he's so handsome. And he has his tail. There's his tail. And he has both of his limbs. He's got all of that going on. The only thing he's not having is his shoes. But he has his pants and his shirt. And I'm super, super excited that I found him. He's been one of my grail dolls for a really long time. And he's really, really, really handsome. I love him to death. I'm so excited that I found him. And the other, sort of anticlimactic, the other doll in the bag is just this Barbie. You push her and she does something. I don't know exactly what it is supposed she's, she's supposed to do. She has a button. But anyway, that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I apologize that I forgot to stop the video and restart it to make part two. So it sort of just ends. And um, yeah, that doesn't really make any sense. But I'm tired, like I said. So I forgot to stop the video. Sorry. I hope you guys don't mind. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.